Ann. And we did just have a heavier shower or snow shower that is pushed through Des Moines, so visibility was worse than it is right now. Still pretty bad out there. Most visibilities across the state down to about a quarter of a mile or so. Also, the winds have picked up, so you'll notice a lot of our sky cams uh, shaking there with some of those stronger wind gusts. Our temperatures have steadily dropped here throughout the afternoon. Right now, sitting at 9 degrees, we have a northwest wind at 21 miles per hour feels more like 11 below outside. Temperature and wind chill values continue to drop here through the early evening into the overnight tonight. Notice again, visibilities are pretty awful out there, ranging anywhere from a quarter mile up to maybe three quarters of a mile for most spots across central, southern, and into north central Iowa this evening. So if you do have to be out on the roadways, of course, roads terrible outside right now. Give yourself extra time here, especially with the lower visibility. And still we have ongoing snow showers across the state. Still some heavier snow as you head into western portions of the metro out in Dallas County from, say, Perry down through Adele along Highway 169. We've got snow there. We head a little bit further south into portions of Madison County out towards Winterset. Some heftier snow as well. We head into Story County now up towards Zeering, Story City, out towards State Center and Marshalltown. Also looking at the lowered visibility with uh, the active snow falling. That blizzard warning has been extended until 6 p.m. on Saturday evening. So that will continue throughout the day tomorrow. We will still see gusts potentially up to 40 to 45 miles per hour and the lowered visibilities. Wind speeds right now out of the north and west. So it's bringing in all of that Arctic air and that starts to settle in as we head into Saturday and Sunday. We'll take a closer look at temperatures and the wind chill as we head into your weekend. But first, we want to send it over to Zane Satchery. He has a look on the roadways. Zane, how's yeah, it looking? It's not a good look. Yeah, and I mean, we showed you this map back on Tuesday with that last big winter storm. We didn't have nearly as much of the color purple as we do now. That's where the DOT advises you don't travel. Well, back on Tuesday, it was basically just I-80 to the east of the Des Moines Metro all the way over towards Illinois. Well, now it's basically the southeastern two-thirds of the state now where the DOT is advising you don't travel. There's even a couple spots of that red color, which is roads that are either determined to be impassable or have just been closed. Most uh, notably uh, locally here, Highway 175 up from Hamilton County and into eastern Hardin County from about Ellsworth over towards Hubbard and Radcliffe not supposed to be on that road and can't get through it right now. Let's take a couple live looks here around the area. Head up westbound on I-80. This is just west of DeSoto, so folks headed out towards Earlham. That's only one lane that's clear there on the interstate as you head west to the Des Moines area. Let's go farther north up into Boone County. This is west of Ames. You headed back towards Boone. The S-curves, those folks up there call that stretch of road notoriously difficult. Look at it right now. You can barely see anything off in the distance, and there's a ton of snow blowing along here, too. Farther north, I-30 as you get off northbound to get on to uh, uh, Highway 20. That also back camera bouncing up and down as that breeze blows around here with those really strong wind gusts. So road conditions not great basically across the state. Interstate specifically, I believe we've got to KCCI's Kayla James to give us more on that. Kayla? Yeah, and saying I don't think we can say it enough. If you don't have to leave your home, just stay inside. Take a walk with me. Now, I spoke with the winter operations manager with the Iowa DOT. He says it's really important people take the travel not advised wording seriously. Take I-235 here, for example. As crews continue their work, the DOT says there are spots that make the roadway appear it's in pretty decent shape. You can kind of see that right now. But he says there is ice and there's also slick spots meaning someone could drive off into a ditch. DOT tells me plans for, is for crews to work through the night, staying out as long as they can. Um, of course, they said if they have to pull plows, they'll make sure to tell law enforcement. But right now, again, the plan is to stay out through the night, plowing the interstates and roadways. We'll continue to keep you updated as we monitor that as well. For now, live in Des Moines, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.